Hi and welcome to another BrettWeiss.com Excel screencast. Today we're going to be looking at how to clear duplicate rows of data using a VBA macro. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you'd like the workbook to follow along and view the code, head over to BrettWeiss.com forward slash Excel screencasts, select the clear duplicate rows VBA video and underneath the video screen you'll find a link where you can download the workbook. So say as our example we need to import some data that gives us our daily sales totals and we'd like to transfer that imported data into our final data worksheet for analysis. You'll notice in our final data worksheet tab we have data all the way up to February 6th and say maybe we update this daily or weekly or whatever but our raw data if we go over, the, go over to the raw data worksheet only comes for a fixed time period say each day of the month for an entire month so this would be our raw data set containing all of February sales totals. What we want to do is we want to take this data, import it into the final data set, and then we want to clear the duplicates so we're not double counting. So instead of going to our final data set saying, okay, we have up to February 6th, we need to go get from February 7th, copy all this, paste it into the final data worksheet. Instead of doing that every time we need data, it would be easier if we could just have two clicks, one to import the data and one to de delete the duplicate rows of data and we can do that using a VBA macro. So first what I'm going to do is import the data using a very simple macro I've created. You can see that macro too if you head to the developer tab you can see the import data macro. But this macro isn't what we're focused on so I'm just going to run the macro and bring the data from the raw data sheet into the final data sheet. So I click the button and we can see that the macro ran and it dumped all the data from the raw data sheet into our final data sheet. Now you'll notice that I have some duplicate entries now. I have February 1st here and I have February 1st here. If we leave the data like this it's going to cause all sorts of problems. What we need to do is delete the duplicate data. So now we're going to go into the delete duplicates loop macro that I've created and I'll show you how to delete the duplicate rows of data using a VBA macro. So let's bring up the VBA editor using Alt 11. If we press Alt 11 we can come to the Visual Basic for Applications editor screen. So we're going to step through this macro one line at a time and I'll just explain what's happening as we're stepping through it and we'll see what's actually happening on the worksheet. So to step through a line of code it's just F8. So we'll press F8 and we'll start stepping through the code. So this is the first line of interest. This is going to clear our Boolean range that I'll explain in a moment in case our macro failed the last time. If this range isn't cleared when we run the macro next time, it's going to cause problems. So we want to clear that range. All this is doing is clearing the Boolean range. And I'll actually show you what I have here. If we go back to the spreadsheet, I've created a named range called Boolean. And this is a column that I'm going to use to determine which of these data sets are duplicates. So you're going to see in the VBA code a lot the range Boolean. That just means I've named this range and this will be the column I'm referring to whenever I have a range boolean or a range boolean dot column in my code. So let's go back to the VBA editor. We're going to clear that row. We're going to find the final row of the data sheet and select our entire range of data. This is selecting from the start of our data down to the final row of our data and over a column as you can see here over to column 2 which is the final column of our data set. Next we're going to sort the data so we can determine which rows are duplicate. So when I step through this line of code we're going to go back to the spreadsheet and you'll notice now that our data has been sorted according to two criteria. And what this does is it brings the duplicate rows one after another so that now we can input an easy formula to tell if a row is duplicating the row previous. So we'll head back to the VBA editor, insert a column header boolean and insert in the first data row zero. What, now what that does, if we go back out to the or back out to the spreadsheet, it inserted we inserted a column header here called boolean, and we inserted a zero into the first row of our data. If we go back to the Visual Basic editor, and now we get to the first interesting part of this code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to step through this code and then explain what it's doing. What this R1C1 formula is doing is saying, if we go back to the spreadsheet, all it's saying is we're going to put a zero in this column if the two data points in this row 
do not match the two data points above it. So if this, these two data points do not match these two data points, we're going to put a zero here. And as we can see, we go down, we'll notice that this is the first data point where the two data points in this row equal the two data points in this row. So we're going to put a one here. And this is going to allow us to sort, to sort the duplicate rows. So if we go back to the VBA editor, we need to copy and paste now our formula cells so that there's no more formula. So if I go back to the spreadsheet, I need to copy and paste these values because right now, you, if you see in the formula bar, there's a formula there. And we need to get rid of them. We need these just to be the 0 and 1 values. So we go back to the VBA editor, run these two lines, paste those, paste special number values in number formats. Then what we're going to do, we're going to see if there actually are any duplicates. We're going to use the match function and and the is na function to determine if there is a one in the boolean range column. If there's not a one, the macro will display a message box saying no duplicates, we'll clear the range, we'll format our range and then we'll just exit the sub. However, there are duplicates, so we're just going to end the if statement and get on with our macro. We're going to reset our range and resort our range according to the boolean column. So now what we're going to do is sort by our zero and ones. We want our zeros first and we want to sort all our ones to the, to the end. So now you can see back in the spreadsheet what we've done. We've sorted all our duplicate rows to the end of our data set. We'll go back to the VBA editor. We're going to select the last data point in the boolean column. Now we're going to enter a do while loop. What the do while loop is going to do is every time it finds a value of 1 in this boolean range it's going to move up a cell and it's going to loop up a cell every time it finds a value of 1 until it doesn't find a value of 1 in other words until it finds a value of 0 and then it's going to exit a loop and this is how we'll know which rows contain our duplicate values so if we have to start from this row we'll go back to F11 we'll run our loop I'll put a stop here and I'll, I'll run the loop and then I'll show you what that looks like so so we ran our loop, we're to the cell we want, and now we're going to delete or just clear the contents of all the rows below. So we go back to Alt F11. We're going to run through this code. This is the code that's going to, it's going to set a range of everything that's below our active cell, and it's going to clear that contents. So it's going to do that. We go back, we see all our contents has been cleared. Back to the VBA editor. We're going to clear the Boolean range. We need to clear the Boolean range so we can use it next time in the same macro. So we're going to clear that. We're going to resort the data. We're going to set it to whatever style you want, in this case currency. And our macro is finished. We go back to our worksheet. We scroll up. We find that we have no more duplicate data rows. All our data is clean. And even our dynamic chart has updated to the new data. Now it's got all of February's data along with January's. So that's how to clear duplicate rows using a VBA macro. I want to thank you for watching this screencast on brettweiss.com. Have a great day.